<laughs> I think you're more competitive than me. <laughs> this is Faith Archer, a personal finance journalist and blogger at muchmorewithless.co.uk. Here we have Lynn Beatty, personal finance expert and founder of mrsmummypenny.co.uk. Today, we're looking at the myths around open banking. If you think it's fake, sound your klaxon. Open banking is only available with a budgeting app. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> fake. <laughs> I'm gonna say get you on the next one. This is gonna be fun. Correct. You do not need a designated budgeting app to make the most of open banking. I think you're more competitive than me, <laughs> Absolutely. if that's possible. <laughs> when it comes to open banking, you are in charge of your data. Yeah, I yeah. think so. In fact, you can control yeah. who you give it to. And you have to renew it every three months. You have to give that company the permission. authority. Yeah. So, yeah. You were right again. Here we go. You have to bank online if you want to use open banking. I'm wondering here about like your mobile phone bills. So I, thought there, I think there are some services that use open banking that aren't to do with yeah. your bank. Now I'm worried because yeah, you made the clues in the title. It's open banking. Right. This It is true. To use open banking, you must bank online oh, or oh, use a mobile okay. banking app for your personal or business current account. Okay. You will be left out of pocket if something goes wrong with your open banking. I think the same rules apply to transactions that are suspicious when you're not doing open banking as when it's open banking. You're right. Now, is open banking free to use? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm just, just trying to think that the services I use are free. I'm sure, I mean, there will be stuff that has a subscription though. Yeah. So maybe not Generally always. it's free. It's fact. Open banking doesn't cost you a penny. However, as you say, some regulated apps and websites may choose to charge you for the products and services. Okay. You need to be a tech expert to use open banking. No, if I can do it, yeah, anybody can do it. That, I am <laughs> so not a tech expert. We're not tech experts. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And I think most of the apps that are developed using open banking, they've got really um, slick interfaces. So it's very obvious mm. what to do. We're going with fake. Correct. When it comes to open banking, you are in charge of your data. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's true. You choose who you can hand it over to. If you give permission for a certain amount of data to be used, it's not like the company can come in and look at your credit card data if you've only given permission for your current account. So yeah, yeah I think you, you are in charge. Correct again. Well, you guys know a lot more than you'd think. <laughs> I think you do, actually. <laughs>